First, that 11 body camera video shows police respond to a fiery crash at Juber Heights that left one man dead. The man accused of causing that fatal crash while running from police in a stolen car pleaded not guilty in court today. Two News reporter Allison Gens breaks down the video and the new information from that day. John Brooke cruiser and body cam video shows law enforcement rush through Huber Heights to stop a suspect in a stolen vehicle. From the moment the suspect exits the highway to the moment several vehicles went up in flames, it happened in just a matter of minutes. Cars on fire! Cars on fire! A police officer runs to this fiery scene last Tuesday in Huber Heights. Bystanders are already there to help, trying to rescue people in the vehicles. <laughs> You see a woman hand the officer a fire extinguisher to calm the flames. Police cruiser and body camera video released by Huber Heights Police reveals what led to this moment. Around 5 p.m. Tuesday, Huber Heights Police were notified of a stolen BMW headed their direction. This dash cam video shows the suspect, 27-year-old Corey Harberger, raced by police on I-70 eastbound and got off the exit for Brant Pike. The officer trailing Harbarger hits an unrelated vehicle. It was later taken to the hospital with minor injuries. Meanwhile, an officer traveling the opposite direction down Brant Pike spots the suspect's car. The officer turns around and then about 10 seconds later, witnesses Harbarger crash into three vehicles near the intersection of Brant Pike and Chambersburg Road. The car just impacted all the vehicles. Around 45 seconds after the crash, the vehicles burst into flames. Police say Harbarger ran from the stolen car and into a lot of U-Haul vehicles. Where's he at? Warren, you got eyes? You can see the moment police handcuff Harbarger on the ground and take him into custody. A total of seven people were taken to the hospital because of the chase and crash. One man, 68-year-old Stephen Carlson, was severely burned in the crash and later died from his injuries. Harbarger is charged with aggravated vehicular assault and receiving stolen property. He pled not guilty to those charges in court today. Harbarger could face even more charges once evidence is presented to the Montgomery County Prosecutor's Office. In the studio, Allison Gens, 2 News, working for you.